Good morning crafters and stampers. Thank you for joining me today. I'm back to share with you my design team project for Not Too Shabby. Here is Jamie's business card and of course I will put all of her information in the description box below. And if you're going to order from Jamie's shop, please don't forget to use my coupon code MR10 for 10% off your order. And you're not going to get that anywhere else. And for every dollar you spend, you earn points that you can redeem at the shop so everything will be in the description box below but i wanted to share with you the new items in jamie's shop she has the cool cats stamps and dies from mfd stamps and this is actually sold out at mfd's website so if you're looking for this stamp set you need to head on over to jamie's shop now because she still has them and she also has the new dog stamps and a lot of other new stamps from the greeting farm whimsy stamps right. of course with jamie not only does she have them the stamp set and the dies you get 10 percent off your order if you use my coupon code so head on over to jamie if you want the stamp set because this is not going to last that long before i show you guys the project wanted to show you again the stamp set and this is really cool in fact the other day i posted a process video for one of the cards that i made so if you guys want this stamp you need to order it from jamie's shop soon and i use the coordinating dies with it i also use this mfd stamp peekaboo window this was available before jamie's shop but if it's not available now, please just send Jamie a message and she might be able to get it for you. I also use this Hello script die from MFD Stamps as well. I use this Blueprints 27. This die right here with the windows and things like that with the sentiment banner there. I also use a, an old stamp set from MFD stamps that coordinates with the new Cool Cat stamp set and this is an older one called I Need You. I use some of the elements on this MFD stamps. This is Tag Builder Blueprints number 5 and I use that arrow there which is this one which is one of my favorite. This is such a versatile set of dies from MFD stamps. And I also use this friend script die. I have an extra die set from MFD stamps. This one that says hello and hi there. I'm going to be giving this away sometime soon in my future giveaway and that might happen next month. So stay tuned for that announcement because I will have a giveaway. So I created three projects. The first card that I created is this really cute card and it says with you is my happy place oh and I also this fence die right here is also from MFD stamps and I also use this grass border die here also from MFD stamps everything else is from MFD stamps with the exception of the umbrella that you see over here so I use my Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock and I watercolored the background there using my SIG clean brush color markers in the background as you can see and I also use them to stamp my image here and watercolor them as well and I really love how this one turned out because of the soft colors that it gave the card it's very subtle and for some reason the image just popped and a heart from Doodlebug and this is actually a very heavy cardstock and I will actually enter this for the current MFD sketch challenge and that adorable so that's the first card that I created and then the second card that I created is this really simple one and I used the hello script die and as I said stay tuned because I will be giving this away sometime next month and I covered this little fish bowl with glossy accent to make it look like it's glass and I used the peekaboo window but I didn't die cut it I layered it with pink so it will give you that illusion that it's the window 
covered it with glossy accents and it shows the cat looking at the fishbowl thinking that it's food. <laughs> so this one is really funny. And this is again the Stitch Wonky die from Avery L that Jamie had at her shop before. And I just trimmed the excess so that the background paper will stand out a little bit more. So that's the second card. And the third card that I created is this really simple but beautiful card. I really love how all the cards turned out but I think this one is my favorite. I used the arrow die from the tag builder and I cut it in silver foil. Make it stand out a little bit. I also used my gel pen to highlight the eyes for the cats and in case you're wondering I used the paper also from MFD stamps. And because I used some really heavy cardstock for the cards that I created this time, I actually used the score tape so that everything sticks really nicely. And you know, since you put a lot of effort into making those cards, then sometimes when you don't use a good adhesive, then it sort of falls apart. I really wanted this card to stay put and not fall apart, which is why I used a very strong score tape. And I used my SIG Clean Color Brush Markers to watercolor the images on Tim Holtz watercolor paper or cardstock. So I love all the cards that I created, but I think this one is my favorite out of the three. So let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below. Please don't forget to head on over to Jamie's shop and check out the stamp. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and got inspired by the cards that I created today. If you like the cards in this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you on my next crafting project. Have a great weekend, everybody.